right, so I am doing an unboxing of Mechs vs. Minions, a board game by Riot Games, also the creator of the League of Legends computer game. This is about $75, um, and as you can see the box is pretty big, it weighs about 20 pounds I'd have to guess which is pretty damn heavy for a board game. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right. So this is a nice strong box or holding up over time. It's got this nice 3D graphic here, the box art looks really nice if you were to ask me uh, let's see what's inside here we have this letter from rumble who is one of the legal legends characters if you were unaware uh, congratulations as the founder chairman and dean of rumble's intense training of programmable lab suits allow me to be the first to congratulate you on your acceptance into the class of the soon-to-be mega prestigious institution so on and so forth tells you not to open the envelopes until told to do so including that box on the lower right hand corner there and as you can see we have some nice attention to detail on the letter which is a nice touch Oh, and before I forget, the package also came with this plushie, which I think this is one of Bard's um, spirit things. So, yeah, I'm not sure why they sent that, but I guess that's some people might want it. Uh, as you can see, the game has. Uh, inserts for pretty much everything. It's it's very well organized. Uh, most times when you get a board game, it's just a box with a bunch of stuff sitting loose in it. Where essentially, where whenever you want to play the game, you have to sort everything. So this is this is really nice. Um, I believe these are the player the character models. They come pre-painted. There is a, let's see if we can get this to focus, significant amount of detail on them. So that's Heimerdinger and his Heimerdinger bot. Corgi. It looks like the bots kind of reflect the weapons they use in the computer game. So Ziggs riding some bomb bot. And then Tristana. This is a two to four player cooperative programming game. Programming as in you choose cards to decide what your guy's gonna do versus actually deciding during the round. So you kind of have to plan ahead. It's an interesting concept that is kind of rare. One other game I'm aware of that has this is Robo Rally, which I don't own. These are some of the minions um, they come with quite a few of them and you can see that they're uh, very detailed now you can paint these if you want but they do come with a wash already on the model to give it sort of a 3d effect let's see if i can get this to focus here maybe not anyway they look very nice they feel nice all right yet another level game a lot more minions and it looks like some tokens Let's open. we have these well, I'm not sure what these are but they look and they feel nice 
game comes with some custom die. You know, beautiful artwork on that die there. It's a lot better than just having the old white six-sided die. Oh well. And these are actually made out of metal. But again, quite a lot of detail. I'm not sure if you can see it from the camera, but they have like runes and what have you etched into these. And again, you know, more, more of these minions. I'm not sure if you can see it from there. Let's see if I can get this to focus. No, that's an iPhone camera. What can you expect? <clears throat> Yet, let's actually close this up so nothing falls out. Yet another layer to the box. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is a combination. Comes with a tutorial, you know, a rule book, the, I guess that's like a reference guide for the more in-depth rules. You have like, it is kind of like a do dossier, I believe is how you say it, but you don't open these envelopes until you've completed so many missions as the game is played sort of in sequence in a campaign style. And you're not supposed to know the contents of these envelopes and folders until you reach that point in the game, which is pretty cool. And then this guy, I'm assuming it's a guy, the, the fifth mech they refer to. Um, I'm not supposed to open this. It's much like the secret envelope in the dossiers. Uh, so only during a certain point in the game will I know what this is. So I'm not going to show this because I do want to be surprised when my family and I get to that point. And then there is yet another level. Looks like I keep bumping this. This is... Looks like the... Uh, where you play your cards and you kind of stick them in these slots and they activate in order and, um, on your following turn. And this is, you know, how you program your mechs. Um, you know, four of these to reflect the number of players that can play. And you have playing cards for which you have inserts for as well. You know, it has really great card art. It looks like there's three card inserts, so I imagine these sort into three piles, and that way you can keep them sorted once you start playing. Um, nice, uh, nicely detailed hourglass. As you can see, it has you know inscriptions and runes and what have you. So uh, there must be some kind of real-time component to the game, which is pretty cool. You have this thing that looks like some kind of bomb. I'm not quite sure how you use it, but it does, again, like everything else in this box, it is very detailed. And these are some of the boards that you're going to be using to play the game. You know, great artwork. Um, everything seems to have quite a high production value, which is expected of Riot Games. They seem to want to be known for their quality, and they seem to have achieved that with this game. They have I'm not sure what this is used for, but uh, has its own special spot. I believe, from what I remember, 
from watching other videos, this is like the start tile. And so you have it. And uh, I will put everything back in there so I can show you that easily everything will fit back in once you're done playing through as the last insert. right in and like I said in most board games you get you just, it's just a big box where everything is in there loosely you don't have this kind of order everything seems to have its own place which I really appreciate Even when you move the game box, it's going to more or less stay in its place. And there you have it. The unboxing of Mechs vs. Minions, the League of Legends board game by Riot Games. Um, $75, which for the production value to me is well worth it. Um, I've bought plenty of games around 40 to fifty dollars where you get you know a quarter of this production value if you're lucky and typically none of the inserts um, so yeah there you have it if you have any questions let me know Mexico versus minions